Thank you, Governor Raimondo, and I look forward to working with you in my role as well. Uh, Mr. President-elect, Madam President, Vice President-elect, I want to thank you for the opportunity to serve the American people. The word labor means everything to me. As you mentioned earlier, Mr. Vice Pre Mr. President-elect, my mother and father came to this country as immigrants from Galway, which is an island, but from a part of Galway called Connemara. They brought with them their willing hands, their honest hearts, and hopes for the American dream. But all they needed, because my father joined the labor union in Boston, was that opportunity. And that's why my parents were able to raise my brother, John, and myself with dignity and security in a multi-ethnic, multi-racial, working-class neighborhood of Dorchester in the city of Boston. I followed my father into that union. I learned what it took to turn an honest day's work into an honest day's pay. I saw what fighting for good jobs, good benefits, a safe workplace does for the lives of hardworking men and women and their families. And I fought for working people every single day of my life since then. Today, we're at a crossroads in America. It's a time of great hardship. Working people are holding the country together right now. I've seen it up close as mayor of the city that I love, Boston. Healthcare workers, first responders, grocery store workers, delivery drivers, postal workers, sanitation workers, custodians, coming through for us under impossible conditions. But this, is, this isn't just because of the COVID crisis or the economic crisis that threatens their well-being. Working people have been struggling for a long time under the erosion of their rights and the deep inequalities of race, gender, and class. For the last four years, they've been under assault attacks on their rights, their livelihoods, and the unions that built the middle class. We are facing hard times, but nobody's tougher than the American worker. And now, now we have the opportunity to put power back in the hands of working people all across this country. And that is a good thing for our economy and for our country. We can defend workers' rights. We can strengthen collective bargaining. We can grow union membership. We can create millions of good-paying jobs with investments in infrastructure, clean energy, and in high-tech manufacturing, along with the workforce training to help get those people into those good jobs. This team, the Biden-Harris team, has the plans to make this happen. Mr. President-elect, we spent many memorable days together in my hometown at a rally to support grocery store workers fighting for their rights at my inauguration as mayor, and on a day that I will never forget, at the Boston Marathon Memorial, where you lifted up our whole city spirits. So I know that from Dorchester to Scranton, Wilmington to West Virginia, and all across this great nation, your home and your heart are with the working people. I look forward to working with you to deliver good jobs with dignity, security, prosperity, and purpose to all American families. And I look forward to working with this entire administration, shoulder to shoulder, with American workers to build back our country better. Thank you once again for this incredible honor. May God bless the American worker, and may God bless the United States of America. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.